Hi everyone, this is Jason from Realm Space Gaming and today we're showing you our top 5 tips and tricks to know about Gotham Knights. Our first tip is to do the training and tutorials in the Belfry. It's important that you understand mechanics like momentum and hit timing, but even if you've already mastered all of this, you need to at least finish the advanced training time strike tutorial in order to take a step towards earning knighthood. Besides this, completing them earns you XP, so make sure they're out of the way. Tip 2 is to rush unlocking your knighthood tree as soon as possible. This is the fourth ability tree each of your heroes has, and unlocking it will grant you the use of your ultimate ability and heroic traversal, both of which will be extremely useful. If you followed our first tip and finished time strike training, then you need to defeat three mini bosses, which will happen early enough, and finally you need to stop ten premeditated crimes, the red triangles on your map. Tip 3 is to unlock the fast bat, or fast travel in this game, as one of your top priorities. To do this you'll need to scan the surveillance drones in each district, but this shouldn't take you too long to do and it's a massive payoff in the long run. Exploring the world is nice given the different mobility skills, but eventually you'll tire of it and just want to get around this large city even faster. Our fourth tip meanwhile is to keep an eye out for those blue glowing batarangs that Batman has left all over Gotham. Pretty easy to spot if you're gliding from place to place, and finding all of them will grant you an extra ability point similar to finding other collectibles, so don't skip them and try to do this before you unlock fast travel. Our final tip relates to mod chips. Mod chips allow you to increase your stats and become more powerful, but you can also fuse them together. Fusing three common chips will give you an uncommon and so forth, but in addition to this, fusing three low level chips with a high level chip will spit out another high level chip. So you should hoard as many common chips as you can, because you can use them later in fusion to craft a very powerful chip collection. Hopefully you now know the top 5 tips and tricks for getting ahead in Arkham Knights. As usual, our goal is to give you the best information quickly and let you jump straight back into gaming, so if you like that, then hit the like button and subscribe for more Arkham Knights. I also just wanted to take a moment to mention our brand new Discord server where we're growing a passionate community of gamers and giving away some of the top titles. It's a place just to have fun, talk about your favourite games and connect with the community here at Realm Space Gaming. My name is Jason and here's a big thank you from everyone at Realm Space Gaming for watching and don't forget to enjoy the rest of your day.